Hello beauties, how are you all doing? My name is Shaz, short for Shahrazad, and I love colorful makeup, as you can see. Today, I'm going to kind of do an unboxing of Adept's Mystery Bundle. I feel like at this point, everybody knows what was in the Mystery Bundle, so it's not really going to be an unboxing. But I'm going to give you my two cents about it. I also did an unboxing, generally talking about unbox different types of unboxings and uh, Mystery Bundles video separately that I'll tag here if you're interested to know my thoughts about Mystery Bundles. Also, I'm going to do kind of the same thing with the Aero palette because I ordered these things together and I received them in the same box. And I'm going to do this eye look with the Aero palette from Adept. If that sounds good to you, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Now let's go into the video. unboxing my opinion of the stuff I ordered and received from Adept. As you can see, I call it an unboxing because I actually decided to not get them out of the packaging just because to make it a little bit more official, but Adept usually sends things with these kinds of like wrappings around. So I'm just going to take these off on camera because I didn't take it out of the box on camera. And then this actually has some weird, bizarre thing in it. Let me see. So it's like this thing that is supposed to protect your colors. But taking that off, this is the outside packaging. It looks kind of nice. I think it's made of cardboard. And it smells kind of, you know, like chemical. Um, but nothing, nothing offensive or anything. It's just, you know, how a lot of makeup smells like. I like the outside. I think it's very well designed. If you're not familiar with Adept's old packaging, I have my Plain Jane. I bought this, I think, at launch. So the packaging is very different from what they have today. And this is also kind of faux leather, I would say. And then this is my Nain Hydrin, which is also, again, faux leather. And then I also purchased Heather Austin's palette, which is, which is kind of like Nain Hydrin. And I think since this palette all their repackaging the name of the palette is done in this format now there is an issue i have with this again i don't own any other palette from um adept that has this issue but if you're stacking them you know you're gonna have this get stuck and maybe create an impression on other things if you care about that so i personally preferred this kind of embossing of the name on the palette but doesn't bother me that much. And this is the inside of the palette. I feel like everybody has seen this by now. Adept itself revealed the palette from the mystery box before anybody had received it. I read online earlier today that this palette is going to become available. I don't remember the date when it's going to be available for purchase, but I'll put it on the screen. And I think the price is $50. I made a video about mystery boxes and I'll get to my thoughts on the mystery box but let me go into the other things that were in the mystery box which were these eyeliners i haven't opened any of them they literally came like this with this elastic around them and this is what they look like just for comparison this is one of my ultra blotted lips from ColourPop, so you can see the size difference this is literally all the way to where the cap of ColourPop starts and I can tell you that on it, it says that this has 0 0.063 ounces or 1.8 grams. And we received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. I'm just going to be honest with you. This looks like a sampler to me. Now, I don't know if these are samplers or these are real actual prices, uh, actual sizes, but it looks like a sampler to me. I'm trying to find an eyeliner from maybe another brand just to compare. For example, this is a brow corrector or something from, um, I haven't used this, this is brand new because this is not my hair color, but this brow wax was gifted to me from Glam Shop when I did a purchase there. And even I think this is small, but look at the size difference. Yeah, friends, these are very, very small. This is one of the ColourPop eye pencils, and this is the size difference. So 
you can kind of get a feel for how small these are. They truly look like samplers to me. Now, I think other people have mentioned too, the fact that you can't see what's in these. You have the name on there, but you have to go online and search that name to see what color they are. To me is a little bit of a downer. The other thing is that the packaging is very drugstore. You know, having it shrink wrapped, because these are also being released for sale on their website, it, online it said that they're going to be $10 each for, I think, like low grade pigment and then $17 each for high grade pigment. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe this is low grade pigment. For something that's $10 or more, my expectation is that it would come in like a box packaging. But that's just my two cents. I haven't opened any of these. I'm not intending to open them because I want to figure out what color they are. Maybe I'll give them as a gift to somebody. It was just a little bit off-putting. Let's assume each of these is the $10 ones. So with the eight, you'll get $80 and then you're going to get $50 for this. So the total is $130. I bought the mystery box for, I believe, $120. Is it worth the price? To be honest with you, it's not. However, I think about it, it's not. Just looking at this color story doesn't excite me because it's all neutrals. I mean, you all know me. And I had mentioned in my uh, video that I did about beauty boxes that beauty boxes usually do neutral colors. This is an instance of me not listening to my own spiel but I should have known, I should have known that they're going to do something that is going to be looking nice on everybody, is going to appeal to the masses. Likely more people are going to be happy with a mystery box if the color story is neutral because neutral looks good on pretty much everybody. It's difficult to get a, get a colorful palette that's going to look good on different types of people. Now friends, completely opposite to that was the arrow palette. And again, I left this shrink wrap thingy on it and I'm just going to remove it right now but this palette looks very luxe I mean the outside packaging looks very similar to these in terms of quality and then you have this logo or whatever on it and then inside friends this palette is gorgeous I have been just staring at this palette it's an absolutely gorgeous palette. And when I opened these two packages that I received, I thought to myself, I should never order a mystery box again. And the reason for that is because I was so happy with this. Let me see if I can show you the color differences in the mirror. But I was so happy with this. I definitely did not feel the same about this palette. Now again, because I own a channel, it's okay it's not something that makes me unhappy i figured you know i can make some neutral looks for you all but i wouldn't gravitate to this i think i would have felt more excited having the minka palette because that's a palette that i've been kind of eyeing and i've been thinking of picking up since it came out over all of these things that came in the mystery box that i i think paid double the minka palette to pick up but I'm super happy with the Aero palette, friends, and we're going to use it in an eye look today. These two rows are insane. I don't think the camera is capturing how beautiful these two rows are. I'm going to use this in an eye look right now. I already primed my eyes with Painterly from MAC. But I want to use this palette because this palette is going to be restocked for the last time on the 20th, which is Monday. And if you want to pick it up, maybe this video helps you. I have a feeling if I didn't own it already, I would want to pick it up. These colors are very me. I'm going to go into this color called Martin Summers. Now, friends, I don't or have never watched Arrow. It's a Netflix series, right? So I'm probably not going to get the references. I just want to let you all know. But the reason I purchased this palette wasn't really for that. It was because I just loved the color story. Greens, I think, look very good on me. People have been telling me they look very good on me. So, you know, and I've missed out on quite a bit of green palette in the past. And I thought, I want this. By the way, friends, 
there are some palettes that are on sale on Adept's website. If you wanted to pick up Amunet New, they are they seem to be phasing Amunet New palette out. And if that was a palette you never picked up that you are still interested in, you can pick it up. This color had a lot of kick up. I'm gonna go into this color called Edward Erasmus with a smaller brush. You know where I'm going. This is gonna go in my outer V area. This is gonna be a very simple eye look. It's Saturday morning early and I'm just, I'm gonna to go to the gym looking like this. But when you like makeup, you don't care. I go to the grocery store looking all dolled up. Do I care? I don't. Okay, pigmentation so far has been really nice, but I do see some fall off. I have been very, very much eyeing the Minka palette. And in my head, I'm thinking I might pick it up. Let me know what you all think. Should I pick it up? I was thinking to myself, a lot of colors from these palettes might come out as singles. And then it might also be a good thing to be able to compare it with future palettes. Adept is a nice brand. There are things I'm not necessarily super happy with, like for example, the fact that these are too small or the fact that they rebranded and resized all of their um, all of their palettes. So if you purchased Plain Jane in the original release or Ninhydrin in the original release, the pans are not gonna fit these newer palettes. So you can't really swap them out and create new palettes for yourself. It's as if the fact that we were loyal to the brand is working against us. But it is what it is, friends. I'm picking a smaller brush and going back into that color, Edward Rasmus, and just going under here closer to my lash line. Another thing I wanted to mention, friends, is that I did a To Buy or Not To Buy last weekend. And I was planning on editing it through the week because I did it on Sunday. But I ended up being so busy with work and with a couple of other projects that it just ended up, I'm just blending with the original br brush. It just ended up not happening. I'm still going to edit that and post it because I want to tell you all what I think about the palace that came out. But, you know, we talk about some Valentine's Day palette in that video that is like, well, Valentine's Day is over now. But, you know, the palettes are still available. So if you want to pick it up, maybe that video helps. I'm using NYX's glitter primer, putting this all across my lid. Friends, this palette looks like it has quite a bit of black base multichromes. These two look like black base multichrome. That one looks like black base multichrome. Maybe even this one. That one looks like a duochrome purple to blue. I think I'm going to use that color. It's a very, very unique color. It's called Monte Cora. It's a cross between dark teal to green to blue. I swashed it on my hand and to purple. This is that color. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see all the shifts. It's just a insane color and then i swatched this one called frank bertinelli and it has a strike through the name and that is this one which is a teal to gold i don't know if i've seen shifts like this like these are pretty unique shifts and they look like they have very small glitter particles in them they're not crunchy or anything they're in extremely smooth no issues with that if you care about not using glitters around your eyes. They look so, so, so shimmery. It's amazing. So I'm going into this. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. I'm just tapping this. Amazing. Obviously doing it on both sides. Beautiful color, friends. Beautiful color. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. Are these going to stay like this? I don't know, but it's a beautiful color. Okay, going back into the palette. I'm going to use that one because it has a gold shift and it looks beautiful. So let me pick a smaller brush. I'm going to use this one from Cleona. Going into that and putting it in my inner corner. 
you know that I usually don't do this with a brush but it's it's very difficult to do this in your inner corner with my fingers I have small and round fingers so it is going to get all over everything if I'm doing something precise like this I like this it's a little darker than I was hoping this inner corner but I'm liking that very legit I'm gonna briefly use this one it's a little too fluffy but I I'm gonna just diffuse this lower lash line a little bit okay beauties I put a little bit of scenic root from Colourpop this is an ultra blotted lip on my lips and it's drying my lips a little bit more than I was hoping again quick recap love this palette if these are your colors and I recognize these are not very commonly used colors <laughs> they might not look good on everybody but if these are your colors I highly recommend this palette based on this eye look this looks different from what I've seen before from adept cosmetics but of course two of my palettes from adept are the OG palettes it is kind of similar to Heather Austin's palette and I do think you can pop these out if you're trying to mix and match these two palettes along with anything they have reformulated so all the new packaging that's available on their website can be mixed and matched with these two palettes this palette is going to be restocked for the last time on the 20th so if you want to pick it up that is your opportunity and hopefully doing this eye look and anything I mentioned in this uh, video is going to help with that as for this one I'm not not excited about it one thing that I like is the fact that there are a good bit of mattes in this palette and one thing that I've mentioned about Adept in the past is that Adept's palettes, a lot of the or original earlier ones are missing mattes. So a lot of times I've had to go into other brands to be able to make a look with Adept. So it's great to have some matte colors in this palette, but the matte doesn't give a lot of variety. Like you have just way too many browns. Do you need all these browns? And friends, I have noticed that there is a matte black. I'm just not talking about it, but I've noticed that there is. And you know, these shimmers are beautiful. I haven't swatched them. I'm just looking at them and they look pretty, particularly this one. This one looks pretty unique. The other ones look, well, maybe this one is also kind of dual chromey. Yeah, this looks like a gold to sort of copper. These two just look shimmery. I mean, they're beautiful, don't get me wrong. But this is the one that kind of looks multi-chromey maybe. It's a nice palette, but I, don't think I would have picked it up if it was not in the mystery box and I can tell you for certain that if these were not in the mystery box I wouldn't have picked them up they're too small and I don't use eyeliners that often I also mentioned in my mystery box video if I haven't tagged it yet I'll tag it here but I also mentioned that people were not super happy because there were just two types of products in this mystery box for good reason not everybody uses eyeliners like me now i could purchase these to just review them in this channel but there are people out there who don't use any and then all of a sudden they get eight of them you know anyway beauties i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this stay tuned for my to buy or not to buy videos Thanks again. I love you all. Have a fantastic weekend and until next time. Bye.